Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs. It is officially May, so that means a new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse. And also it is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So there are tons of new food items all around the resort. And the Polite Pig is doing a coconut jerk uh, pork sandwich and it looks phenomenal. So I figured we come on out eat some food, do some shopping, and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I do have to say, it is a beautiful day to be hanging out at the Springs. The temperature is in the 80s, and I'm excited to try some food. I'm gonna start off the day by heading straight on over to Gideon's because I don't know if it's gonna be a long wait or if they're doing the virtual queue. Usually it's pretty busy on the first day of the month because everyone comes out and they try the new cookie like I do. Wow, this is incredible. Not only is there no virtual queue, but there is nobody in line. It is like a 10 minute wait for Gideon's. That's, that's we got so lucky. Normally, when I come to Gideon's on the first of the month, I usually get here around 11 a.m. And it's 4 p.m. now, so I'm a little bit late. But look at this line. Sometimes this could be hours long. And right now, it is a, like, five-minute wait. So I think I might be coming around 4 p.m. more often now. Here is the menu and artwork for the month of May. And this is Maria on the front, who was born without a face and now wanders the world, struggling to find her place. And the cookie of the month is the white chocolate caramel macadamia nut cookie. That sounds so good. I love macadamia nut cookies. And then of course they brought back the salted caramel cold brew limited edition. So a little caramel cookie with some macadamia nuts and a little uh, caramel cold bro I like it a lot of people have asked me to show a little bit more of the inside of Gideon's and a lot of people don't know how much it actually goes into making the cookies here our cookies and cakes are made by hand from scratch and it took 15 years to perfect the recipe so they definitely take it pretty serious and I love everything in there I love the books I love all of the artwork it's a part of the experience. All right, I have obtained the goods and delicious things await. And I got the salted caramel cold brew and the white chocolate macadamia nut cookie. And I'm excited because you know Kris Kringle, that's like the, the one of the December cookies, that's one of my all-time favorite Gideon's cookies. So this one actually might be a high-ranking cookie for me. We'll find out though. So I'm gonna open it up a little bit. Oh, look at this. Holy moly, you can actually see all of the caramel right on inside there. Look at this. Doesn't that look so good? You can actually see it right in there. And of course, we're gonna break the cookie. Look at the back side of it. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, it's a big break. It's gonna fall apart. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was actually, that was nice. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, it's so cakey though. All right, here we go, first bite. You don't say. We've got a winner here, folks. This cookie is so incredible. I love it, look at that right there. That is how a cookie crumbles. And you can taste a little bit of saltiness, a little sweetness from the white chocolate, and of course the macadamia nuts, look how big they are. And you can see the caramel right there. This is definitely a high ranking cookie. I'm gonna have to put some thought into this, but I'm obsessed. The banana bread is going to stay at my number one spot, but I think the white macadamia nut is now taking my two spot, and Kris Kringle is dropping down to three. So that's my top three, folks, right there. Chris, the Kris Kringle, the white macadamia nut, and then the chocolate chip banana cookie. But this was so close. I just love bananas. Oh, this is a good cookie. I'm glad that we came out and got to try this for May. As I was sitting here enjoying my cookie, I ran into uh, my friend Jerry, and he is running for president in El Salvador. And how crazy is that? That's awesome. Yeah, good luck on the campaign. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you can come when I'm president, El Salvador. Oh yes, I'll be there. 
Yeah. You're gonna have me out. I'll come. Of course. Oh, of course. I feel you're honored. Be my honor guest. Oh well, thank you. Yes, sir. Well, well, very well. good luck. Thank you. <laughs> All right, but now we have to try the combination here, the cookie coffee combination, and they're both a little salted caramel, so it's gonna be a little salty. But I, I kind of might like it. Hmm. It's a hit. Enough of the cookie business. I wrapped up the rest of my cookie and it's gonna go in the freezer with all of my uneaten cookies. You know, <laughs> sometimes I do pull them out and I microwave them. They don't taste as good after you freeze them and microwave them though. And some of them, I think I'm gonna have to throw away. You know, they've been sitting there probably a year and a half now in the freezer. We're gonna keep moving along and make our way over to the Polite Pig, but I wanted to show you that Corksicle actually opened up a stand here, and it's where the old Wonder Made Magical Marshmallows was. But don't fear, the marshmallows are still here. They're just across the way there. I feel like that rhymed. Don't fear, the marshmallows are still here. But look at little Corksicle. I don't know much about this, but they do have uh, some fancy, uh, pretty fancy bottles there. They actually have a lot of fancy drinkware here. We've got some Beauty and the Beast right here, R2-D2, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel. I believe this is a Loki one. Oh, I like that. That's Iron Man. These are actually really cool. I like a lot of these. I always try to show you any of the cool updates at Disney Springs whenever I come down for the month and I've been doing this for like a solid two years now and it's become so much fun because you can notice just a little bit of difference like I said the fact that there's a new uh, Corksicle store and the marshmallow stand moved but also I wanted to point out that Disney Springs is now partaking in the Disney 100 celebrations and there's a sign over by Orange Garage so I'll try to show you that as we leave leave but uh, yeah they're on board now everyone's starting to celebrate before we head on in to the polite pick I wanted to stop at Amaretz to show you guys the Disney 100 cake look at this $24 for this little beauty it comes with a lot though it's got berry mousse berry compo I might be interested in this oh it's got cream cheese mousse on it as well and a Disney 100 medallion look at that let me know, would you pay $24 for this? I mean, this is the actual size of it. It's like that big. It's almost like a coffee mug size. I bet you they might be sold out. I kind of want to know. I want to check. Amaretz might be a little pricey, but it is very good here. And normally those cakes, like they have a special cake running, uh, like every single month or for any special occasion, usually it sells out early in the day. So we'll see. I just want to see if it's in there, you know? It actually looks like they have tons of the cake left over for the Disney 100 and they're also doing an Uba uh, cake for uh, Asian American Heritage Month. Look at that. And this one has banana cinnamon on it for $9. I don't know. I mean, I wonder if they just started making more of these cakes or if less people are buying them because it seems like they have quite a few in there. I was really considering getting one of those cakes just so I can crack it open and try the berry compo. But after the Gideon's cookie, you know, I'm already bringing one home. I got too much. So we're going to skip over that and just make our way to play pig. But at least I got to show you. Right next to Amaretz, they have a Volcom store here. And I wanted to go in and get a new hat, which I did get a new hat. And the new hat was $50. I didn't know it was $50, but they told me about a cool deal where you pay $119 and you can get two t-shirts, a pair of shorts, a pair of sandals, and a hat. So for an extra like $60, $70, I could have gotten a whole bunch more. But all I wanted was my hat today. Still shocking it was $50 though, but I should have gotten this. I should have gotten the whole Volcom Essential kit. As you guys know, I am a man of many hats and I've been testing out different ones to see which ones I kind of liked more. And because this one has like so much breathability and I'm bald, but it, since it has so much breathability, I wanted to get something like that. So that's what I decided on getting with this Volcom hat because it actually has little holes on the side here. Just little ones you can't notice. And I think it looks good. Look, I think it works. It fits good. Look at that. 
I like it. It's a little, oh yeah, this is a good buy. I feel good now. All right, now we have finally made it to the Polite Pig, and we're gonna get the chef's special coconut jerk pork sandwich for $20. It's a coconut jerk pork, pineapple slaw on a Hawaiian roll, accompanied by a Hawaiian macaroni salad. That sounds pretty interesting. Oh my lord, it looks like they're pulling out some of the meats. I don't know if that's brisket or ribs. Oh, this is ribs right in front of us here. Look at that. Oh, I love the Polite Pig. It is always so good. And it's actually uh, a recommended restaurant from Michelin. Look at that. That's really cool. I didn't even know that. But look at that. Wow. Oh, I do love the meats. Is he bringing those over here? Oh, oh, oh he's putting them on the lower deck. He's taking them down. Oh, you can see in there, there's tons of brisket. Hey, how are ya? Big fan. <laughs> and here it is, the coconut jerk pork sandwich. And it looks phenomenal, look at this. It's got a nice Hawaiian roll, a pineapple on top there. Look at all of that meat. I mean, it's a big meaty sandwich. I love the garnishing. It looks very bright and colorful. And uh, we're gonna dive in. Oh. Got some paper towels blowing in. We'll probably need those paper towels in a little bit though. I got my fancy new hat on and I'm not even sure how we're gonna attack this sandwich. It is a big sandwich. All right, I'm gonna try to lift it up. I put the, pi I'm gonna put the pineapple in, uh, in the sandwich. All right, we're lifting it up. And, oh boy. Oh my Lord. Look at this. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. The table's a little wobbly. It's a little wobbly, but we'll make it. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, definitely a little bit of spice. Not too spicy, but it packs so much flavor in there. The combination of ingredients and to use the Hawaiian roll, that's the only way. This is the way, I mean, Polite Pig, they get it, they get it. They, they grill the Hawaiian roll, because it is. Once you grill those buns, you know that's the way it's done. And this is fantastic. Coming to Disney Springs as much as I do for like new months and special events, I have to say Polite Pig is always hitting it out of the park with their specials. And it's so hard because uh, once they're like a special, they go away and you crave it. Like the cornbread pot pie here was amazing. And also the turkey dinner is really good too. There's so many great like specials that they've had that I was just like, wow, if this was on full time, I would definitely come back and get it. Now, I do have to say, the Polite Pig is a very smoky barbecue, though. It's a modern barbecue, and I love it. That's just my preference. I know a lot of different barbecue like fans don't like the smoky taste to it, but this, A+. All right, enough of the Polite Pig. It's time to head to the World of Disney and do a little shopping in there. Just a little browsing. I want to see what they got, anything new, anything that can, uh, catches my fancy. And yeah, that sandwich was so good. So much flavor. Like, I really love the coconut and the jerk and no sauce, like no barbecue needed. It was just perfect as is. And uh, I'll miss it. Maybe I'll get it one more time before it ends. They started selling balloons down here, and holy moly, look at that. Wow, take a look at these balloons. They're going wild. It's a very, very windy day today. Look, at you got BB-8, Disney 100. Oh, a little thumper. Getting ready. Looks like for Bambi, Easter. Or maybe those are leftover Easter ones. I don't even know. Uh-oh. We're in the line of, we're in the line of fire. Very, 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 very windy today. As we make our way into the co-op, they got rid of the 50th emblem here for 50th anniversary, and they just put, hello, sunshine. I like that. It's a good way to greet somebody in the morning. Hello, sunshine. The earth says hello. <laughs> it looks like they do have some new items in Disney Tales, including this adorable little pet bed, and I'm not too sure if I'm willing to start up Gracie's uh, bed adventures again. But this is way too small for her, but still very nice. Look at that. It's a big bed, actually, if you look at it. But can you imagine her just sitting in there with her little paws hanging over the side there? She likes to drift them, like just like have them dangling over the side. That would be so cute. 
Oh my lord, they actually have a stitch outfit for dogs and I think I might have to do it. I might have to get Gracie this little stitch outfit. Look at this. Oh here, this is her size probably. Oh, I want to see her wear it so bad. Oh, I know she's not going to like it, but I'm going to like it. And she loves me. She owes me one. $39.99. Ooh, what do you guys think? Oh, I would love to see Gracie actually in this though. Oh, and they also have a Jack Skellington one too. It's too hot here in Florida though for this big sweatshirt though. She probably wouldn't like this. This is nice and breezy. And plus it's got a little hood on the top there. I think we're going to do it. Now that we've gotten Gracie a nice little cute outfit, we have to stop over at Sprinkles to get her some cupcakes. So that way I can give her a reward once she gets done wearing it. And uh, I mean, you gotta, we gotta get the cupcakes. And I was also uh, sad to hear that the uh, Disneyland Sprinkles closed, but I'm pretty sure the Walt Disney World is here to stay. I think it's here to stay at Disney Springs. In fact, I might actually use the Cupcake ATM today. If they've got them available, let's see. Touch to begin, I love the song for this. Oh, let's see, oh, Cupcake right here. Let me get three of those. Check out, 1950, hold up. Wait a second, no, 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 back, abort, abort, abort. Uh, I don't know how to, <laughs> uh, um, oh, we're, oh, oh, okay. I think I did stop it. I don't know why it was 1950. I think I ordered three sets of three. Looks like the Sprinkles Cupcake ATM isn't working at the moment, so we're gonna have to go inside. But I just like using it because you get to hear the music. Like they have like a special song that's like, I love Sprinkles. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's really good, but not today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> The pup cakes have been obtained, look at that. And also look at the line at Gideon's now. Before we got there and uh, there was only about like eight people. Now there's probably a good maybe 50 in line. So I guess uh, that's the sweet spot we got to, right at four o'clock. I'm starting to piece it together now. Things are making sense. We got here just as hot cookie hour ended. So that's why there was nobody in line because they all hopped to go get the hot cookie hour. And right now it's beginning, everyone's hopping in line. They do hot cookie hour from two to three and then I think from seven to eight. So it's literally at seven o'clock now, everyone's hopping in line because they want to get the hot cookie hour. Before we actually head out, I think I'm gonna stop in the Disney style and just look around. Sometimes you could find good stuff on here, but other times it's just things that have been around for a while. Might as well take a quick peek anyway. I think this is so cool. They finally have a new Lion King Spirit jersey. Look at this. It actually looks so cool too. That is a nice spirit jersey. I probably would get this. Cause it always seems like they wear the same shirts at uh, Animal Kingdom. Like a lot of people always wear the same Lion King shirts, but this jersey is better. And I don't know what's on this side. I think it's a hoodie or something. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is an awesome hoodie. Look at that. Wow. They got a lot of new Lion King stuff. I'm here for it. That Lion King spirit jersey looks so cool. I mean, I think I might have, be interested. I haven't been wearing spirit jerseys in a while. I always like the material on it because especially in Florida, uh, people that like to be comfortable wearing sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff like that, because a lot of people are that way. You get to wear this material that's kind of like, like cooling material. Like it's not the fuzzy on the inside. That's what I think a spirit jersey is like. And I always enjoy them. So maybe, maybe we'll start bringing some spirit jerseys back into the picture another thing I'm super excited for is Guardians of the Galaxy volume 3 I mean honestly I was excited for every single Marvel like Marvel movie to come out but uh, you know they haven't been doing the best work recently and I really have high expectations for this I am so excited I like how they even are leading off with the fact that it's a James Gunn film look at that like they put it right there a James Gunn film the last one from Marvel and then it's on to DC and rumor has it, he's taking some people with him. Who's coming with me? And just like I mentioned before, I wanted to show you the Disney 100 sign right outside the orange garage as soon as you land over here. Look at that. These are popping up everywhere. They're springing up all over the place. 
Gracie, I have some awesome things to share with you. I think you'll like one of them. Where's she at? Oh, there she is! There she is! There's the pretty little princess. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Huh? Come on, let's go! Let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> what? I figured I should give her a treat maybe first. <gasps> Let her know that she has treats. Oh, look at her. She smells them. Yes, they're very good. But we're gonna put this on first. Okay, Gracie, I think you might like this. <gasps> yes! Oh, look at this. Isn't this adorable? Oh, you're gonna love it. Come here, you. you want a treat? Come here. Yes, come here. Right here. Oh, well, let me get that leg. Come here. Hold on, let me get this leg. Right here, this one. Oh yes, right there. Good girl, good girl. Let me see this one. Right here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, look at your butt away. Are you stitched now? <laughs> ooh, 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 I can't, I can't. Oh, look at you. Oh, you like it, don't you? Look at that tail. Yes. Okay, you get one of these. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Oh. Just for you, baby. Because you're... Oh, good girl. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? You got to eat it with your stitch hood up. <laughs> there you go. 626. Six. This might be the best thing ever. Gracie, you wanna go for a walk? Huh? You wanna go for a walk? Let's go, come on. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Let's go. Come on down here. Yep, come on. Let's go for a walkie. Oh, this is gonna be so great. Oh my Lord, Stitch has escaped, guys. Stitch has escaped. <laughs> Honestly, I think she likes it. Yeah? What's that? Is that your spot? What? Here, I'll take this off. You wanna roll around? There you go. Oh, yes! Oh, look at you! What? Hey! What you doing? Who you barking at, huh? Who you barking at? Who you barking at? What are you doing? You look like the Easter Bunny. <laughs> what? What? Oh, 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 let me see this. You want me to rub your belly? Huh? You're a good girl. I love you, you're a good girl. All right, you ready to head back inside? You ready to go? Let's go, Woo. let's go. That honestly might be the best $30 I have ever spent. $30 for all of the happiness that I just witnessed. I feel so happy. Honestly, I love it. She looks adorable. She doesn't hate it. Like I put thing, like, things on her and I knew right away she would not like it. She actually enjoys this a little bit and I'm shocked. I was so shocked, and yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. In fact, I'll probably, this might be one of my most watched videos for myself, like video that I'll just constantly watch back just to see Gracie all dressed up the way she was that first time. It's just so good, and uh, yeah, that's going to do it for us today. It was a beautiful day at Disney Springs. We got to try some amazing food, some Gideon's cookies. Gracie got to become Stitch, and I got to make a video for you. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye go on get in there Ooh.